Hey guys, it's Kelsey. I'm back with another scrapbooking process video. I thought I was done with this collection. I thought I had done a pretty good job of killing it, um, but I still had four pocket cards and I was really wanting to do better on the pocket cards. So I was like, you know what? We have my mind's eye meow collection that coordinates pretty well. I'm going to really try and just squeeze in one more with the bare bits I have left of this collection. So I have these two little plus sign strips. This is the B side of one of the papers I trimmed down in order to mat on a solid. Um, I'd already used all the branding strips, which is nice, but I have these little strips here <laughs> that I had trimmed off um, in order to mat a paper that I was going to use for the background. And I figured, you know what? They're black and white. Let's use them. I went ahead and matted them in a skinny black frame and I'm just going to run these vertically up either side of the page for a little bit of interest. Uh, I pulled in a couple papers from the Meow paper pad. I really liked this multicolor polka dot as the background just because um, it was mostly white but it had the pops of the gray and black and pink and green and I figured I could try and pull in those colors as I get going with my layering. But here are those two strips there. I'm just going to glue them up either side. And for this one, just because I do have this polka dot background, a lot of the papers are white based. I thought it'd be cool if I either inked everything in black or I matted everything in black. So everything kind of had this bold black um, rim like these strips do on the side. So that's my goal on this one. And you'll see as I get going how that kind of looks. Um, it makes a really cool bold impact though. That's kind of unusual and I really like it. I have two photos here I went ahead and glued together. I'm gonna mat them together on another skinny strip of black paper. But these are when my car needed some work. I'm very fortunate in that Marcus loves cars. He's a big car guy. He really had a hobby um, in high school, <laughs> like buying and um, fixing Hondas like he'd, he'd buy an old broken down Honda and he would completely just he'd figure out what was wrong with it and he'd fix it and then he'd resell it and it was just a hobby of his and fortunate enough I have a Honda <laughs> it's his favorite car to work on and my car needed some stuff done so he has probably saved me a couple thousand dollars in in car stuff just because he could do it himself thankfully uh, so here we were just working on it and needed a new oil pan uh, but I also needed a CV axle replaced and a couple other things <laughs> so uh, I was really thankful that he could work on my car for me so he got all that stuff done and then that lower photo I'm kind of I'm holding the camera obviously but I'm holding this drill in my hand that you can kind of see in the lower left hand corner and it has a polishing uh, I don't know bit on the end I don't know <laughs> pad uh, and I was cleaning my headlights while he was working on the car so car got a little TLC we got to spend some time together and he got to you know work on cars he doesn't really get to do that anymore right now uh, so it was kind of nice that we got to work on my car at least a little bit. Um, but I decided to go in with a scrap I had from the Meow collection, which was just this gray and white stripe. So again, matted it on black. Um, and now I'm going in with a couple other things. Here are the pocket cards. I have four pocket cards left. Um, two of them, the colors just were not going to go with... Uh, the colors I'm using on this collection. So I decided just to flip them over and use the plain grid side of these pocket cards. And I'm gonna make those look like it's a big horizontal piece running up behind all these layers. So you can see I'm kind of gluing those down now. And those are gonna go horizontally behind these other bits. <laughs> so I got those two pocket cards used up that way. Um, I really didn't feel like I was going to use the fronts of those, so that's fine using the grid side. I, I really appreciate that Felicity Jane do have double-sided cards, so you can do this. But the other two, I did want to use the front side. This one just had a thankful for you sentiment on it. I thought that was perfect for this page, so I'm just trimming that out and cutting it into a banner. And then this other pocket card just had a skinny black and white stripe on it, so I decided to cut that into a tag um, and kind of have that branch out on this little horizontal bit here. So I was really, really pleased that I got the rest of the pocket cards used up and these two little horizontal straps on the side of the strips on the side of the page. So this page is definitely mostly the Meow collection, <laughs> uh, but I definitely wanted to include it in How to Kill a Kit with Style because this is again me just using those final remnants. Um, and I'm, I'm glad I kept going because I was about to call it quits and just have leftover pocket cards. But now I get to go into my layout share and showing you what I have left with like really not a lot. And that's always really exciting. I love when I do my How to Kill a Kit with Styles and there's really barely anything left. It's really satisfying. <laughs> uh, so I'm including this one. But 
I thought about tucking this banner in behind these photos and then as I was trying to figure it out spatially, I decided just to make it a double-sided fishtail banner. So I'm going to trim the other side into a fishtail as well and then I'll have everything layered up over here. Um, it's kind of off screen. You can't see it right now like barely in the lower left hand corner, but I had some really cool die cuts from Ronnie that I've kind of been hoarding. They were from like the first pack of Happy Mail she ever sent me and they're really cool. It has like gears and stuff in it and I was saving it for a page with Marcus and cars because I knew I'd have another page of Marcus working on cars because it's just one of his hobbies that he likes to do and so I have those set out to the side there and I really want to get a couple of those on this page. <laughs> Marcus actually walked in uh, at the beginning of this page and saw those and he's like oh you need one on like the side and the one on the top and I was like you know what that's where I'm planning on them going so that's what's gonna happen. <laughs> so I have this one I'm gonna try and figure out how to have up the left side of the page over here. I'm just gonna cut it into two pieces because there's a huge part of it that will be covered by the tag. So I figured I would just, you know, stretch it out a little bit so you can see more of it and not so much of it is covered. But I think that looks so cool and this black uh, die cut on this background just with the context of the cars, I love those gears and I just think it goes perfect. So I'm gonna tuck that in under there. I'm just using Tombow Mono Multi. I really didn't want to try and fiddle with glue tape with this really intricate die cut. Um, so that's all I'm using to glue it down. But now I'm getting the tag down. And then I do believe I pop up the thankful for you banner up on some foam so that will have a little dimension just because everything's kind of flat right now <laughs> and I wanted something to kind of break up and make it a little bit more interesting so I'm just going to use some foam dots and put that on the back there and then this left hand cluster is pretty much done and then I definitely want to build something kind of the upper right hand corner creating this L design that I like to do. <laughs> so now that I have this left hand corner and then this is another thing I was doing a lot of black and white layers which goes with the theme it goes with the color scheme but I do want to pull in those greens and those pinks from this background. Um, and there was a little strip of a pink and white stripe from the Meow collection. So I figured I would go ahead and tuck that on either side of the photos too, just to give me an extra layer, but to pull in a little bit of that pink. <laughs> so I'm matting that on black as well. And then I'll cut that into two pieces and kind of tuck that on each side. <clears throat> But I needed some color. It was looking very black and white right now, which would have been fine. This would be a cool one to do kind of a monochromatic thing on just because it is a mechanics thing. <laughs> um, but the drill we were using is this kind of neon green and that, that green is one of the colors in this collection. So I want to pull in those fun colors and the pink as well. Just I didn't want the pink to be left out. <laughs> There's enough pink on the background to where I feel like I need to have pink in these layers as, as well. So there's that piece and I'm going to go ahead and glue down the banner and then there's a little skinny strip of that uh, pink stripe I'm going to tuck on the other side too. So hopefully it'll look like a larger, larger piece, <laughs> but it's wanted a little bit of interest over there. Just add more layers, but I love, you can kind of already see how this is starting to look with everything matted in black. You get all these really bold lines around every layer and I think it creates such a cool look. I like, know it won't work for every page, but for this one, I think it's so cool. <laughs> I really like doing that with the Meow Collection. I, I know other pages I've done with the Meow Collection. I really like doing this bold um, matte every, every layer in black thing. <laughs> but here's my other die cut. I still think have like, I think I have three more of these other mechanic die cuts, but I'm gonna save them for other, other Marcus mechanic pages because they're, they're really perfect for that kind of theme. But this other one I really want to incorporate at the top here where I'm hoping to have another cluster. And then you saw me pull in that green polka dot. I really want that, that pattern to be in each of these clusters. So I'm going to go ahead and trim it into a tag and then a chunk of it's going to be covered. So I'm going to go ahead and gut what's going to be covered behind these layers. And then the piece that I gut, I really want to incorporate into the lower left hand corner, just so you have that pop of green <laughs> in each corner of, of the page. So I'm just going to glue my little hole reinforcer on. I'm going to add some black and white twine. I also added that black and white twine in the, the tag from the pocket card. So I like that that's also balanced, but I'm just figuring out spacing right now. <laughs> so I'm gonna gut the tag. There we go. And I'm gonna glue that at the top. And then this other one, um, I didn't want to be another square layer just because with these bold mats, there is a lot of 
corners and square angles going on. The tags help break that up, the die cuts help break that up, uh, but I didn't want the green piece at the bottom to also be square, so I'm also going to cut that into a fishtail banner too, and I think that looks really nice, and it also kind of plays off of the thankful for you fishtail banner. So once I get this tag glued down up here, you'll kind of see what I do with that. <laughs> but I'm just gonna trim it into a fishtail banner and tuck it behind the tag just so that color that color and that pattern is even. And then I decided to move the die cut from the side across the top, and I think that looks a lot better. <laughs> I play around with these die cuts a lot, but I'm pretty sure this is where they end up is how they are right now. But I think that definitely looks better across the top with the tag in front instead of going down the side. There we go. I'm trying to remember if I do, I think I go ahead and do this fishtail banner on the side. Um, I do have a little strip of a branding strip left over. I, th I thought I'd use them all, but I forgot. I did have a piece of the, the text branding strip that says falling leaves, crisp air, sweater weather, and I only had a little bit of it left. But again, this was still fall. Um, I'm pretty sure this was October, November um, when these photos were taken. So I decided to go ahead and get that used up too because it was, it was in the black and white theme. And I really didn't want that piece of branding strip left over at the end of the month. So I'm trying to figure out where that's going to go. Um, I'm kind of mixing and matching the inking in black and matting in black just because a couple of the things I felt like if I matted in black it'd almost be too much. So the black and white, uh, both tags, the green layers, and the thankful for you banner are all inked in black whereas a lot of these other bigger layers are matted in black. And so again this little die cut here I thought it'd, it'd overwhelm it too much if I matted it in black so I'm going to ink that one in black too. So I'm kind of mixing and matching here and then I went through my stash I really wanted some more pink elements and I remembered I had um, some pink die cuts from Jennifer still and I really thought this one was really cool and I so I'm going to tuck two of those top and bottom of my photo when we kind of get going but I just wanted another pink layer just because the pink stripe wasn't a lot of pink I just wanted a little more of it so I think that turns out really cool as well <laughs> so I'm just playing with that here but I think that adds another kind of cool texture and that branding strip is going to stay at the top with the green tag so I think that looks good too <laughs> but just trying to figure out final touches. I think these layers are coming along pretty cool. I don't have a, a whole lot of ephemera for this one. I'm really just playing on um, these bold lines and the cool die cuts to be your areas of interest. <laughs> um, so that's pretty much my goal. I'm almost done. I really need a title. I need to do some journaling for sure. Um, but I'm trying to make sure all my, my colors and textures and everything are where I want them. So again, just using my Tombow Mono Multi to glue down these cute little pink strips. And I think those look so cool. <laughs> Marcus really liked those too when he was kind of checking in to see how the page was going. He, he always gets kind of excited when I'm doing a page with him on it. <laughs> um, and this one was laying on my desk for a while because I was kind of fighting with myself. Like, do I want to keep going with my kit for this month or do I want to just do a page from my stash for this one? And then and I was like, you know what? We need to keep going with How to Kill a Kit with Style. I can squeeze one more in. <laughs> and so he was excited when I finally started working on it, especially when he saw these die cuts. He was really excited about the gears and the little pink strips. And then I also was going through for my alpha sheet. I thought I was going to do a black foam alpha for this one. I think it would have looked really cool. Um, but as I went, as I just added those pink bits, I was like, you know what? I really like the introduction of the pink. <laughs> uh, so I decided to go with these Brooke puffy stickers from Felicity Jane. Um, and I'm just going to title it Grease Monkey, hashtag Grease Monkey, just because I feel like that um, kind of sums it all up. And it's just going to run across the bottom here and fill in that little space. But I like how that pulls in more pink as well. I know it's a, a guy page, a mechanic car page, but with the background, I really think it, it's nice with the pops of pink. And Marcus doesn't really mind when I do <laughs> kind of girly things on pages with him. He, he does not care. <laughs> so I think this turned out really cool. Um, I was just going to say Grease Monkey, and then my spacing was kind of weird, and I decided, you know what, there's some hashtags on the sticker sheet, so I might as well use one and just call it hashtag Grease Monkey, and I think spatially that looks a lot better. Um, and then once that's finally down, I'm going to do a little bit of journaling down the side of the photos, and all it says is, uh, it comes in handy that Marcus loves working on cars, new oil pan, and CV axle, and saving lots of money. <laughs> It's very convenient, for sure, having him have this skill set. 
So just fiddling around again with the spacing now that I decided to, to change that a little bit. But I think that that looks a lot better than how I had it originally. There we go. And I thought about doing Nuvo drops or splatter or something, but I honestly thought the Nuvo drops would kind of get lost with the polka dot background. And I just didn't think it really needed everything, anything. I think um, all these patterns and colors are kind of bold as they are. So I thought I'd leave it nice and crisp and, and clean at the end, which Marcus also kind of likes when I, when I do that. So I figured for his page, I'd, I'd leave it. But journaling's going down the side here and I'm pretty sure that's it. So I can't wait for the last day of the month um, for you guys to see what I have left. <laughs> <laughs> this month was a lot of fun. I'm so happy I got to play Felicity Jane again and pull in this Meow collection. That was really unexpected that I got to kind of use a good bit, not a good bit, but I got to pull that collection from my stash out because I've been ignoring that paper pad since it's so cat themed. <laughs> but here are the close-ups. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye.